Well, the one-two punch of Tropical Storm Marco and Hurricane Laura wiping out many businesses. Casey just showed you those pictures uh, it, in Louisiana, especially there where Casey is in Lake Charles. Uh, our next guest knows that heartbreak as the owner of a bridal store there that is now destroyed. She built the business from the ground up 15 years ago. We're bringing in now Victoria Huber. She's the owner of Vows by Victoria in Lake Charles. Uh, thank you so much uh, for being here with us. I'm very sorry to see what is behind you because I believe what is behind you used to be your business. It used to be my business, yes. So tell me, was your place the go-to spot for wedding gowns and prom dresses? We've been in business for over 20 years. We had Rhinestone Runway and Vows by Victoria. We just combined. All right. So I think we lost uh, Victoria's uh, shot there. So what we'll do. Oh, you're back, Victoria? You see me? I can hear you now. Go ahead. Tell me more about your, your business. Shot. Okay. Did you get us back? Yeah, we've been in business for 20 years. My husband is a retired police officer. Um, he was injured in the line of duty, and we just put everything into our store. Um, to come back to this was just the most heartbreaking thing I've ever seen. Um, but our community is in dire need right now. It's it's not just our stores. It's it's our friends. It's our families that have nothing. Yeah, and, and it is a sense of community, I, I know, and then it, that feeling just uh, really gets stronger when you see that you've lost your business and you think about other people have lost their livelihoods and their homes. I feel like I can't hear you. I'm not sure if you can still hear me. There you are. So, so yeah, tell me, what did, what did you lose, Victoria, in the storm? I mean, I see the pictures of these beautiful gowns and stuff there and ruins. I mean, have you been able to go inside? I'm not sure if it's too, if the building is unstable, but you know your inventory. Uh, we tried, what, but it, yeah. it's rained. We had over 7,000 dresses. It's rained every day since the storm. So that was a two-story building. It's not just our roof gone. It's a whole floor gone. So we're missing half of the store. Um, our dresses aren't even here. The ones underneath from our prom shop are, it's like raining in us every time we walk into the building. Mm. Um, we lost this building completely. We had an event center as well. Um, our event center is, is destroyed and will take a very long time to rebuild as well. You know, I mean, listen, yours was the American dream. You started with $600. You used your life savings along the way when, you know, as needed. You were looking to retire soon. You're a young woman, but you know you work hard for a long enough time. You can retire when you want to. You, you, you set it up that way. Now what happens? We had a five-year plan. We had yeah. a five-year plan. But you know, I'm a hard worker. I believe um, I'm just going to put one step forward and try to do the best um, to get this store back up and going. Um, but my concern right now is not my store. It's my community. It's the people around us. Um, the devastation here. I, I've lived through uh, two hurricanes, well, actually three. I was here for Rita. We stayed. We rode it out. What we see now is the worst, um, the worst disaster that I think Louisiana has ever seen. Um, they're telling us it could be up to four weeks without water. We have no water. We have no electricity. There's no N95 masks for people to get into their homes to try to save anything that's left. Um, people are scared to evacuate because of corona. They don't have money because of corona. They don't have the funds to be able to get out of here. Um, we found out that our employees, some of our employees have sleeping in vehicles. Um, I had an elderly woman that worked for us um, threatening to sleep in a tent last night. I mean, it is really, really bad here. And, you know, I'm horrified to think that some of our help has been sent away. I just, I, I really need to plead with our community and with our nation People don't realize how bad it is here. One out of every five people I know have nothing. They have nothing. Victoria, uh, quickly, I just want to make sure, do you, are you in contact? Is there a, a FEMA office or, or a tent or, you know, trailer set from, up where you can go from and what get, I've seen, yeah. From what I've seen, um, it, it's hard for people. I mean, people are broke around here because of Corona. It really took a whole, a hard hit on our community. They're, they stayed in their house, um, in their homes during this when they shouldn't have because they didn't have the money to evacuate. And now 
they're applying with FEMA and being denied. What happens to these people who don't have a dollar in their checking account? I'm sorry, account? what did you tell How? me, Victoria, excuse me, what did you say is being denied? Dave, I don't know one person that has been approved by FEMA. Not one person. They said, they, they're saying if we have insurance, they're, they're denying them. Well, first of all, That's insurance all I... doesn't, first of all, you know this, the insurance doesn't make you whole. I guarantee you, and we can let the people know that your insurance coverage, however great it is, is not going to cover what it takes to rebuild your business and put those it's, people back in their not, homes. It's not about making them whole. There are elderly people sleeping in mold and wet conditions. They're, they can't even get out of their homes. I have been feeding homeless people walking around without water, without food. They are setting up food tents, but the food's gone before, you know, within the first 30 minutes that they set up. We need more help here. I, I mean, we've heard that they said it's not as bad as they expected. My God, I mean, I know, I don't know a business that survived this. I'm one of hundreds. I've lived here all of my life. You know, I had someone comment, well, we choose this because we live on our coastline. That oh, you know we what? Should be we don't want to hear that. We don't want to hear that. I, I don't want to hear no. that either. You know, you live there because that's your home. You love your home. You love Louisiana, and so do I. So I don't want to hear anybody tell anybody we need to move from there because that's our you, home. You know, I, I've, I've raised my children here. Um, they got married here. My church is here. The churches can't even begin to help people because they're destroyed. They don't even know where to start. And it, it infuriates me that people were turned away. The electric companies are telling us this is the worst they've ever seen. It's not just wires down. The big transformers Victoria, are in half. Victoria, let me let me do this. I'm, I'm tight on time, but I want to give you this opportunity. If you were able to right now, Victoria, speak to President Trump, tell him what you want him to hear, please. Are you there? I'm here. I want you to tell President Trump I, I directly help. right now. I want help for my community. I want help for my community. I don't want people turned away. I want people here helping these people get out of this area. There's no hotel vouchers left. You have people, single moms, sleeping in cars with kids. You know, our governor made a statement that it wasn't as catastrophic as he thought. Will you tell Southwest Louisiana and the people who came home to nothing that statement? You know, it's not just Lake Charles. It's everyone around us. This thing went up far north. There was a child killed in Leesville when a tree fell on her home. There was an elderly couple murdered in their home yesterday because of looters. I mean, this is going to get horrific. There's no water. People can't bathe. I mean, they're drinking out of swimming pools. It is horrific. It is horrific. And to not see what is going on here, I mean, I... My Facebook page, I cried for my business yeah. the first day. The first day. We set up a GoFundMe yeah. account to help rebuild our business. Mm -hmm. That account is going to go to help build my community. Yes. Because this is ridiculous. When Victoria, elderly people cannot get out of their homes, this is ridiculous. Victoria, I feel you. Uh, I hope and pray you get the immediate help you need there. Victoria. Huber, thank you very much, and I'm very sorry uh, for everything that's happening down there. God bless you. Thank All right. You.